Zimbabwe's president Emerson Mnagagwa has been elected to a second term with 52.6% of the vote, and that's according to the Electoral Commission. But the opposition also claimed to have won, saying there was widespread vote rigging and observers said the vote fell short of democratic standards. Zimbabweans still face high inflation, poverty and a climate of fear. When he first became president, Munagagwa, known as the crocodile for his ruthlessness, promised a new start for his country's people. Now all eyes are on how he will steer his country forward after being granted another chance. Most Zimbabweans were already queuing at the break of dawn. August 23rd was a crucial date in their calendar. Uh, it is my right to vote, so it's important for me to vote. Despite various cases of delays, the voting went on as planned. Frustration had already started to build up for some voters, but with time, it settled down. And just as many were lining up to exercise their right, the main opposition candidate, Nelson Chamisa, made this announcement. This is a clear case of water suppression, a classic case of stone age, undecorated, analog rigging. He was alleging voter rigging, a common factor in every election in this southern African nation. But despite Chamisa's allegations, ballot counting continued in Harare after a day of voting in the country's legislative and presidential elections. The Electoral Commission had to extend the counting hours later. International poll observers have cast doubt on the credibility of the vote. Ultimately, the elections fell short of many regional and international standards, including key principles of equality, universality, transparency and accountability. The counting process continued for the next two days as both main parties conducted various press conferences that would end up being disrupted, like this one in Harare by the Citizens' Coalition for Change. Or this incident where 41 local monitors of Zimbabwe's elections were arraigned. The men and women from Zimbabwean pro-democracy and pressure groups were arrested in multiple raids and their computers and mobile phones were seized. And on the night of 26th of August, this announcement was made. I, Priscilla Makanyara Chigumba, the chairperson of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, in terms of section 110, subsection 3, do hereby declare that Munangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of ZANU-PF party has received 2,350,000 711 votes out of 4,468,730 valid votes cast, which are more than half the number of valid votes cast in the presidential election. Therefore, Nangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of ZANU-PF party is declared duly elected president of the Republic of Zimbabwe with effect from 26 August. 2023. The elections have come and gone. I'm humbled by the trust and confidence that you, my fellow countrymen and women, have reposed on me to once again serve as president of our great country, Zimbabwe. We have won this election. We are in the lead. We are even surprised why Mr. Mnangagwa has been declared, you know, the leader, because he's not. Nicknamed the Crocodile, Mnangagwa first came to power after a coup that deposed the late ruler Robert Mugabe in 2017. A year later, he narrowly beat Chamisa, first time in a vote the opposition leader condemned as fraudulent and which was followed by a deadly crackdown. As a white-ruled British colony named Rhodesia, the country broke away from London in 1965, gaining independence in 1980 after a long guerrilla war and was renamed Zimbabwe. But under Robert Mugabe, its first leader, 
the fledgling democracy spiraled into hardline rule and economic decline with hyperinflation wiping out savings and deterring investment. The opposition hoped to ride a wave of discontent over corruption, rising prices, unemployment and entrenched poverty. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.